Welcome to Chris Cook for YouTube. Today, my daughter, who is in chef school, showed me how she debones a chicken. Now, once she did that, we had all of this chicken meat left over. So I decided to make some quesadillas. And since I don't have that recipe online, I'm going to put it online today. So let's get started. For that, you're going to need, of course, the chicken. And you can use chicken breast, that's the best meat to use, but I'm actually gonna be using all of the chicken, and all I did was just cut it up so I could pan fry it and then make the quesadillas. You will need onion powder, oregano, thyme, paprika, garlic powder, and these two are granulated. You will need chili powder, salt, pepper, Monterey Jack cheese, and here is flour tortillas. You will need that as well. Now I'm gonna make pico de gallo to go with this dish. You're gonna need some olive oil and some butter because that's what you're going to fry your quesadillas up in. We're gonna pan fry that chicken. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all of these seasonings on the chicken. Now what I've done is I've already mixed them up and of course your ingredients will be at the bottom of the tutorial. I've already mixed up all of the seasonings so I'm going to go ahead and just let my chicken marinate in those seasonings. And I'm going to allow it to marinate for about 30 minutes. You don't have to do that but I'm going to do it and then I'm going to pan fry it up. And then when I come back I'll just show you how to put together the quesadilla. Now, while that is marinating, take off my glove, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to make the pico de gallo. Pico de gallo is extremely simple to make. You will need some chopped up tomatoes, some cilantro, jalapeno pepper, and that's chopped. And you don't have to, if you like yours with a little bit of kick to it or spice, then you don't need to de-seed it. Mine was de-seeded. And you will need some onions. Now, you can use your garden onions or you can use your regular onion. I like them both, so I'm putting both of them in there. I love onions in my pico de gallo and a lot of the meals that I prepare. Now, once you do that, we're going to stir it, and you're going to need some lime. Now, if your lime needs to be de-seeded, you can, and you're going to need the juice of one lime. I'll also put the ingredients for this at the bottom of the tutorial as well. And this is about three tablespoons of lime juice. Okay, once you get that in, you're going to mix it up. That's all it takes to make a pico de gallo. This is made. I'm going to go ahead and refrigerate it. I'm going to allow my chicken to marinate for 30 minutes, and then I'm going to meet you at the stove so that we can go ahead and fry this up be right okay now i'm at the stove and i have some butter in here and a little bit of olive oil and i'm just gonna go ahead and drop in my chicken now i'm just gonna saute this chicken up enough on both sides to really cook it i don't really need to brown it but i do need to cook it And you can wrap, crowd the pan, it really doesn't make a difference with this. Because it's going to be like you're stir frying it anyway. And in the back, I'm just going to show you this. This was the part of the chicken that she deboned from. So you don't want to throw that away. Because that makes very good stock. 
So all you need to do is put some celery, some carrots, and some onion in here. Make your own stock and then freeze it and use it because that's your chicken stock. So whenever you're deboning your chicken, don't throw it away until after you get all of those good, rich flavors that come from it. You can see the carrots, the celery, and the onion down over in there. Just wanted to show you that since it was at the stove. So I'm going to let this cook up. And once this cooks up, it does not have to brown. It just has to cook, have to cook up. And once it cooks up, I'll bring it back when we get ready to make the tortillas. Be okay, right back. so now we're at the stove. And I have put just a little bit of oil. You can pretty much see how much is in there. In my skillet. And now I'm going to go ahead and put in my tortilla. And you can use corn tortillas or flour tortillas. It really doesn't make a difference. Use any one, whichever one is your preference. And that's the one that you would use. And you're going to put just a little bit of cheese on one side. And with the cheese, you can use any kind of type of cheese you want. I think that Monterey Black, Monterey Jack is the better cheese. But of course, you can use, if you have a preference to um, American or another brand, you can use it. Now, I've already cut up my meat, as you can see. And I did slice it up because my meat was kind of big. So I sliced it up just a little bit more. So you want to put down your chicken pieces and something i want to tell you is that you saw all of the seasonings that i use that's why it's better to watch the whole tutorial you saw all of the seasonings that i use but you really don't have to use all those seasonings what you can do is just get a package of taco sauce and you're pretty much going to get the same taste so you want to put a little bit more cheese on top of that because you want to be able to hold it together and that's what that cheese actually does, is it'll hold this together. Then you want to take your spatula or whatever it is that you're using, and you want to fold this over on top. And then you're going to flip it over. And the only thing you're doing is just flipping it over until your cheese can kind of melt because your chicken is already cooked and now your tortilla is cooked. So the only thing you're doing now is really just letting your, allowing your cheese to go ahead and melt on the inside. Now once you think that's done, which is normally only a couple of minutes, turn my stove down just a little bit, then you're going to take it out and you're going to rest it on whatever it is that you're putting your your uh, quesadillas on. Now I'm going to do this one more time. I'm going to put in a little bit of cooking oil. And I'm going to go ahead and add, make certain that your stove is not too high because you don't want that heat too high. I'm going to go ahead and add my tortilla. On my tortilla, I'm going to go ahead and put some cheese only on one side, not on both sides. And like I said, put as much as you want. Then when you put that down, you're going to put down some pieces of chicken. Don't overfill it. And then once you get your chicken down, you're going to put a little bit more cheese on top so it will glue together. Now, you don't have to necessarily do this with cheese and chicken. You can do it with cheese and chicken. You can do it with other items you can put inside of it. Some people put spinach in it. You can do that. Some people make a quesadilla out of something that's totally different and you wouldn't think would actually go into 
a quesadilla. And that can be anything. That can be ground beef, just like a tacos. You can make it up like that. You can do anything. You can put anything inside of your quesadilla. Then you're going to flip it. And the only thing you're doing now is melting that cheese. Once you do that, then you're going to take it out. Now, I'm going to go away and finish up. I have quite a few to make. I'm going to go ahead and finish up. And once I get this all finished, then I'm going to bring you back. And I'm going to show you what the finished product actually looked like. This is a fast, simple, but yet a good meal. And I think that if you try it, you are truly going to enjoy it. And it's so easy to put together. So there you have it. Chris is making quesadillas. So I'm going to go away and finish up. Be right back. Okay, I've made quite a few, as you can see, over on the plate. And now I want to show you how to make a whole one. It's done the same way. You're just going to put your tortilla down. You're going to spread it with some cheese. And that's as much cheese as you like. Then you're going to add some meat. And then you're going to add some more cheese to it. You want to kind of spread your meat around. Oops. You want to add some more cheese to it. And you don't want to put it that close to the edge. Okay. And then you want to put another tortilla down on top of this one. Now, if you have problems with trying to keep it closed, one good thing you can do is to take some, right around the edge, all the way around the edge, you can take some flour paste. Flour paste is made with water. That's going to be a half a teaspoon of water and a tablespoon of flour, and you just mix it together. And then you can just glue all around here, around the edges. That's in order to make it stick. But I don't need to do that because the cheese will hold it close. And all you have to do is just make certain that you do a good flip. Now, once you think that this has cooked enough on one side, then you're just going to flip it. Now, remember, this is not hot because the only thing that you're doing is just cooking that cheese that's inside of it. And you're helping that cheese to, to bond together or bind together. So this is really not hot and you're not using that much grease. So then the only thing you're going to do is just flip it. And then once you do that, that's it. And you're going to allow it to melt down on that side. Okay, I want to show you how to make that. So I'm going to cut them up both at the table. I'll slice this one up like a pie style. And I'll slice up one of the short ones. Just wanted to show you how to do this. I think that this is a meal that you're truly going to enjoy. And we have the pico de gallo. I'll have it out so I can put it on the plate as well. And I'll meet you at the table. Be right back. Okay, now I'm at the table, so let me show you how this finished up. First, I'm going to do the larger one. And we're just going to cut it just like a pie. Okay, so you're going to cut it in half. And you're going to cut it in half again. And that should be enough. Now, if you want to cut it you know, one more time, you can just come straight down. Okay? So that's what we have. Look at it. It looks real, real good, too. So we're going to go ahead and put that down on the plate. Look at that cheese. Quite a bit. And we're going to go ahead and set 
our pico de gallo down on it. That's one plate for the smaller quesadillas. We're just going to cut this like a pie as well. I'm starting here. And I'm going here. So that's for the smaller quesadillas. I'm going to put this one on the plate. And you can eat this any way you like. We're going to put down our salsa or our pico de gallo. And then we're going to add a dollop of sour cream. There you go. I'm trying to get this right. Okay. Any way you slice it, Chris is doing quesadillas. And these are chicken quesadillas. You can put anything in it you like. If you don't have all of the spices that I use, just go ahead and get you some taco seasonings. You're going to come out with the same flavor. So I think that if you try this, this is quick, fast, and easy. You are truly going to enjoy it. The next video, we will be talking about my book, my upcoming book that's coming out that I am so excited about. Over 125 recipes, everything in it but the kitchen sink. Looking forward to the book November the 1st. And as always, thank you for watching Chris Cook for You Too. Bye. Smart Sound.